El día de hoy te traigo una muestra completa de cómo podría ser una entrevista. Es uno de los tantos escenarios que te podrían tocar. La verdad que este tipo de muestras sirven mucho para que uno se dé idea, ¿verdad? De cómo puede ser una entrevista y ese día no nos tomen por sorpresa. La verdad que este video lo intentamos hacer lo más real posible, amigos. No somos profesionales, hacemos nuestro mejor esfuerzo. Espero que les sea útil. Déjame saber si te fue útil dándole un like. Recuerda también dejarnos un comentario en dónde será tu entrevista si ya tuviste tu entrevista para poder intercambiar tips y consejos. Recuerda suscribirte también a nuestro canal. Muy importante que estés suscrito, ¿verdad? Para que no te pierdas ninguno de nuestros videos. Seguirnos en la cuenta de Instagram citizens-ahora porque en esta cuenta vienen personas a contarnos cómo fue su experiencia. Y también tenemos un segundo canal de YouTube, Citizens Ahora, en el cual vienen personas a contarnos en transmisiones en vivo cómo fue su experiencia. Muy bien, sin nada más que decir, vamos a ver el video. Jose Arcadio. Here. Hi, Jose. Hi. How are you doing today? I'm great. Please follow me. Okay, let's go ahead and step inside. Okay. Please come in and remain standing next to your chair. Thank you. Okay, you can put your things down. Thank you. Please raise your right hand. Do you swear and affirm that the statements you will give and provide today will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Okay, please take a seat. Okay, Jose, my name is Officer Merquiades, and today I will be conducting your citizenship interview. Nice to meet you, Officer Merquiades. Can I please see your ID and your permanent resident card? Yes. Thank you. Now, did anyone help you fill out this application? Yes. Who helped you fill out the application? I just pay a lawyer to do it. Is there anything you would like to update on your application? No. Has anything changed since you submitted your application? No. Did we have to reschedule your interview because of the pandemic? No. What is your complete name? Jose Arcadio Buendía. Have you used other names in the past? No. Would you like to make any changes to your name? Yes, I would like to remove uh, my middle name. Okay. What is your height and how much do you weigh? My height is five feet 10 inches and I weighed 165 pounds. What are the last four numbers of your social? 4422. And what is your date of birth? March 6, 1984. Where were you born? I was born in Mexico. Please spell the name of the country you were born in. M E X I C O. And what is your current address? 44761 First Street, Orlando, uh, Florida. Can you spell the name of the street you live on? Yes, F-I-R-S-T. How many years have you been at your current address? Five years. And who lives with you at your current address? Uh, my wife and my children. Where did you live before your current address? 7761 uh, Washington Avenue, Orlando, Florida. How long were you at your previous address? For 10 years. Are you working now or are you unemployed? I'm working. Okay. Where is the place of your employment? I'm sorry, officer. Can you please repeat the question? Yes, I will repeat the question for you, but I can't keep repeating every question, okay? Okay. Where is the place of your employment? Oh, no, I have my own business. Okay. What is uh, your position at your business? Well, I'm the owner. What kind of business do you own? Uh, we do little uh, fish, 
made of gold is uh, in jewelry. How long have you been working or how long have you owned your business? For eight years. Can you tell me what color this desk is here? Yes, uh, this desk is brown. What is your marital status? I'm sorry, officer. Can you please repeat the question? Okay, I will repeat it for you again. What is your marital status? Can you please ask me the question in a different way? I will ask it in a different manner. Are you married, single, or divorced? I'm married. And what is your spouse's name? Ursula Iguaran. Can you spell your spouse's first name? U-R-S-U-L-A. Is your spouse a U.S. citizen? Yes. How many times have you been married? Just once. And how many children do you have? I have four children. What are the ages of your children? Uh, 11, 13, 16, and 17. Okay. What are the names of your children? Aureliano, Jose Arcadio, Amaranta, and Rebecca. Okay. Give me one second, okay? Okay. What is the citizenship status of your children? They're all U.S. citizens. And are you the biological parent of your children? Well, three of them. I'm the biological parent of Aureliano, eh, Jose Arcadio, and Amaranta. Rebecca is adopted. Okay. Are your parents U.S. citizens? No, they're not. How many years have you been a permanent resident? For eight years. And when did you become a permanent resident? in June 2006. How did you get your permanent residency? My father petitioned me. Or where did your father apply for your permanent residency? Uh, my father submitted a petition uh, here in Florida. Why do you want to become a U.S. citizen? Well, I feel like I'm part of this country already and uh, I want to be able to vote. Do you know the requirements to become a U.S. citizen? Yes. Uh, you have to be older than 18. Uh, you have to be also a permanent resident for at least five years. And you have to file your taxes every year. Have you left the United States since submitting your application? No. And when was the last date you traveled out of the U.S.? Uh, June uh, 2020. How many times have you traveled outside of the United States in the last five years? Five times. And in the last five years, what are the total amount of days you have spent outside of the United States? Fifty. When you traveled outside of the United States, where did you go? I went to Mexico. And why did you travel outside of the United States? I just went to visit family. Now we're going to move on to the civic test. I'm going to ask you 10 questions, and you have to answer at least six correctly. OK. Who makes federal laws? Congress. Will you elect a president for how many years? Four years. What does the Constitution do? It sets up the government. Why does the flag have 13 stripes? Because there were 13 original colonies. Name one U.S. territory. Puerto Rico. Name one right only for United States citizens. Vote in a federal election. What is the name of the Speaker of the House of Representatives now? Nancy Pelosi. What is the highest court in the United States? The Supreme Court. When was the Constitution written? 1787. What is the economic system in the United States? Market economy. Okay. 
Congratulations, you have passed the civic test. Now we are going to move on to the reading and writing part of the interview. Please look at the screen on the tablet here. Mm -hmm. And you are going to read out loud what you see on the screen. Okay. In what month do we vote for the president? Thank you. Now I'm going to ask you on the same tablet, using the pen here, to write down the following sentence. People vote for the president in November. Sorry, officer, the pen is not working. Okay, give me one second. We're going to try it again. If you can please use your uh, finger this time. Okay. Please write the following sentence. People vote for the president in November. Okay, thank you. You have passed the reading and writing part of the interview. Now I'm going to ask you to answer yes or no to the following questions. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen? No. Why not? Because I'm not a U.S. citizen, I'm a permanent resident. Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No. Can you tell me in Spanish what I just asked you? Yes, uh, you asked me um, si alguna vez me he registrado para votar en alguna elección federal, estatal, o local en los Estados Unidos. Have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No. Do you now have or did you ever have a hereditary title or an order of nobility in any foreign country? No. Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined to a mental institution? No. Can you tell me what a mental institution is? It's a place for people with mental problems. Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? No. And when you file your taxes, do you file by yourself? I'm sorry, officer. Can you please repeat the question? Sure. Just remember what I mentioned earlier. I cannot keep repeating every question, OK? OK. When you file your taxes, do you file by yourself? No, I file with my wife. Have you ever not filed a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? No, I always file my taxes. So does that mean that you have filed your taxes this year? Yes. Have you ever called yourself a non-U.S. resident on a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? No. Usually when you file your taxes, do you have to pay taxes or do you receive a refund? I have to pay. Have you ever been a member of, involved in, or in any way associated with any organization association, fund, foundation, party, club, society, or similar group in the United States or in any lo other location in the world? No. Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated with the Communist Party? No. And uh, what is communism? Uh, communism is no freedom. Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated with any other totalitarian party? No. A terrorist organization? No. Have you ever advocated the overthrow of any government by force or violence? No. Have you ever persecuted any person because of race, religion, national origin, membership in a particular social group, or political opinion? No. 
Between March 23, 1933 and May 8, 1945, did you work for or associate in any way with the Nazi government of Germany? No. Were you ever involved in any way with any of the following genocide? No, never. Okay, you don't have to answer never. You can simply keep it to a no. Okay. Or a yes. Okay. What is genocide? Is killing a large group of people. Were you ever involved in any way with torture? No. Killing or trying to kill someone? No. Badly hurting or trying to hurt a person on purpose? No. Forcing or trying to force someone to have any kind of sexual contact or relations? No. Not letting someone practice his or her religion? No. Were you ever a member of or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in any of the following groups? Military unit? No. Paramilitary unit? No. Police unit? No. Self-defense unit? No. Vigilante unit? No. A rebel group? No. A guerrilla group? No. A militia? No. What is a militia? A militia is an unofficial army. An insurgent organization? No. Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or did you otherwise ever serve in any of the following? Prison or jail? No. Prison camp? No. Detention facility? No. Labor camp? No. Any other place where people were forced to stay? No. Were you ever a part of any group, or did you ever help any group, unit, or organization that used a weapon against any person or threatened to do so? No. Did you ever sell, give, or provide weapons to any person, or help another person sell, give, or provide weapons to any person? No. Did you ever receive any type of military, paramilitary, or weapons training? No. And what is a weapon? A weapon is an object uh, that is used to harm or kill. Did you ever recruit, enlist, conscript, or use any person under 15 years of age to serve in or help in an armed force or group? No. Did you ever use any person under 15 years of age to do anything that helped or supported people in combat? No. Have you ever committed, assisted in committing, or attempted to commit a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? No. Have you ever been cited or detained by any law enforcement officer for any reason? No. What is cited? Cited is when you are required to go to court. Have you ever been charged with committing, attempting to commit, or assisted in committing a crime or offense? No. Have you ever been convicted of a crime or offense? No. Have you ever been placed in an alternative sentencing or rehabilitative program? No. Have you ever received a suspended sentence, been placed on probation, or been paroled? No. Have you ever been in jail or prison? No. Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? No. What is a habitual drunkard? A habitual drunkard is someone who drinks too much alcohol. Have you ever been a prostitute or procured anyone for prostitution? No. Sold or smuggled controlled substances, illegal drugs, or narcotics? No. Have you ever been married to more than one person at the same time? No. Have you ever married someone in order to obtain an immigration benefit? No. Have you ever helped anyone to enter or try to enter the United States illegally? No. Have you ever gambled illegally or received income from illegal gambling? No. Have you ever failed to support your dependents or to pay alimony? No. Have you ever made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? No. Have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? No. Have you ever lied to any U.S. government officials to gain entry or admission into the United States or to gain an immigration benefit while in the United States? No. Have you ever been removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? No. 
Have you ever been ordered, removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? No. Have you ever been placed in removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings? No. Are removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings currently pending against you? No. Have you ever served in the U.S. Armed Forces? No. Are you a male who lived in the United States at any time between your 18th and 26th birthdays? No. Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Yes. What is the Constitution? The Constitution is the supreme law of the land. What is the form of government of the United States? It is a democratic republic. Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes. What is an oath of allegiance? It's a promise to be loyal to the United States. If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Yes. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? Yes. And if the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Yes. Okay. Give me one second. Can you please check that everything is correct, including your name and information? And if everything is correct, go ahead and sign and print your name. Yes, officer, everything is correct. Okay, great, if you can sign and print your name. Thank you. Congratulations. We have approved your citizenship interview. ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué te pareció? Espero que te haya sido útil. Si así lo fue, ya sabes, déjamelo saber con un like. Comenta qué otros videos te gustaría que hiciéramos, ¿verdad? Para que te pudieran servir. Ve a ver cualquiera de estos dos videos si no los has visto. Si tienes tu entrevista esta semana, toda la suerte del mundo. Si no la tienes, no te preocupes. Aquí seguiremos trabajando juntos tú y yo todos los días para que logres esa meta. Nos vemos en el próximo video. Chao.